Good evening, and I'm Charles Holmes Hope, and I serve as the Director of Residential of Life for the Department of Life at the University of Vermont, or as we know as UVM. And welcome to our first virtual session for the summer, Living on Campus. After more than 23 years in the field, I am going to my second year here at UVM. And I'm excited to share with you my passion for the campus housing and how our work we can to empower greater student success and retention here at the university. In this session, we will give you a snapshot of our facilities so that you know what to expect when you arrive on campus. We know that many of you may not have had the opportunity to visit UVM before attending, so we hope this virtual tour will help you get accustomed to what you will find in the typical resident hall. While many students and parents may not be familiar with the term dorm for college housing, we in the campus housing profession call our spaces residential halls. This better reflects the, 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 the intentionality and programming which goes into creating a learning environment rather than simply a space for sleeping. We will also be introducing you to some of our faces that you will see in our residence halls in August and throughout the academic year. In Res Life, we maintain a full staff of dedicated campus housing professionals who are here to facilitate a safe, inclusive, and inspiring living environment. Our team creates programming, meet, um, mediates conflicts, and upholds the values of UVM across our live on campus community. Many of our staff members live on campus and are on call to support our students whenever necessary. In our virtual tour this evening, you will meet a few of our staff who serve in key student facing roles. We hope you will say hi to these folks when you move in on moving in August and take full advantage of the many resources our team provides for you here at UVM. Remember, the on-campus experience is what you make it. We will be introducing you to the, to the many ways in which UVM's mission of sustainability and environmental consciousness shapes the experiences of our students living on campus. You will get to know some of our options for getting around campus and the Burlington area, as well as facilitating, as well as facilities pr provided for composting, recycling, and much more. Finally, we will close out with a live Q and A session. During the Q and A session, you will enter your questions using the Q and A button on your screen and we will try to answer as many as possible questions as we can. I join, I, I am joined this evening by several members of our staff who will help me with answering questions. So if you do not hear me read your question directly, please check the chat box for a written correspondent. As we work through the Q&A session, we ask you to please be mindful that questions or personal information or requests should be emailed directly to our Residence Life office at reslife.uvm.edu so that we can create a case in our system and make sure your needs are fully addressed. This evening, we will be trying to answer the many common questions that I'm sure you all are eagerly to, to have answered. I also want to make sure you know that there are several more virtual sessions coming up this summer. We have two more scheduled for this summer. The next session is called Moving In and Moving On. It will include everything you need to know to have a successful moving experience here at UVM. The third and final session is called living in community. While we hope you will attend all three sessions, we strongly encourage you 
to be able to attend the living and community session in particular. During that session, you will be introduced to our code of conduct, our expectations for our community, and you will meet your RA and fellow residents in a breakout sessions. We also have a family focused session through the Division of Student Affairs in which we will explain how best to support your student during the transition to living at UVM this fall. You will find information about all of these future sessions online. Before we get started to tour our resident halls, I want to take a few words about the department. Res Life is responsible for all of the residence halls at UVM, to be exact, 43, as well as our programming and community development for our on campus students. At Res Life, our mission is to educate, engage, and enrich the experiences of our on campus students. We support the university's mission of creating a learning environment throughout our residence halls, which provide the intentional programming and curricular structure for our students. I am so excited about the direction of our department as we will continue to reimagine the resident experience for you. I want to share a few exciting updates with you to give you a sense of where we are going. As you will know by now, we are thrilled to be able to allow our incoming students to select their rooms. This is the first in UVM's history and we are so excited. We have continued to improve our gender inclusive housing program, including making renovations to our halls in order to better serve the needs of our students. We have hired and are continuing to hire a vibrant and qualified staff for new roles in our department. We have created a new plan to improve and maintain our 43 residence halls for the long term. We are launching a brand new learning community called Game Included Gaming Collective in our G Man's Hall. We are thrilled to be partnering with the newly named Senator Patrick Patrick Leahy Honors College as it expands. It expands and enrolls more students in that college. We are creating a brand new curriculum to support the holistic student learning outside the classroom. As you may experience, we have improved our admitted student visit days to provide a more comprehensive look at life on campus. We hope this smooths the transition to living here at UVM when you arrive in August, which is one of the most exciting times of the school year. We are collaborating with our campus partners to improve access to resources and create even more exciting program throughout the year, which comes to you in each of your living spaces. We are continuing to make meaningful improvements to the student experience here at UVM to engage a greater satisfaction as we respond to feedback and data from each school year. We have also enhanced our moving day process to improve on logistics, provide a free lunch for students the first time ever this year that will that will occur to our families and students and providing welcome gifts to each student when you arrive to campus. It is an exciting time to be a part of campus housing. Just you wait. Now I would like to introduce you to Elias, one of our tour guides here on campus and an intern this summer in residence life. Elias is going to walk you through one of our resident halls and explain the services and amenities you can expect this August. He will also introduce you to some of the staff who work in the hall who, who will explain their roles on campus. Elias, take it away. Hi, 
Hi everybody, welcome to UVM. My name is Elias, I'm a current senior here. And today I'm gonna to give you an overview on how to get started living here on campus. So let's come check it out. So first thing, you need to know how to get into your residence hall. And that's gonna be done through your CAT card or your student ID. This is an ID that's used for checking out library books, your meal plan, getting out of buildings. Today, we're gonna to use it to get into a residence hall. So my CAT card is designed to specifically get me into my own residence hall for security purposes. I can scan it on the keypad, it turns green, and I can walk inside. When I walk inside, I arrive at the lobby. The lobby has many purposes. Sometimes you're allowed into it without CAT card access during the daytime, but really it's used for shared space for studying. There's many rooms here for many purposes. And the first thing you're gonna do when you arrive is you're gonna go to the front desk, which is also located in the lobby to pick up mail, rent materials, things of that nature. So I'll do that right now. So let's say today is my first day at UVM. I'm a first year, I'm here to check into my dorm. I'm gonna ask this guy, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm here, I'm Elias, I'm gonna get my key for my dorm. Hey Elias, yeah, just scan your cat card and we'll get you going. Perfect. So I scan my cat card. Elias, you are good to go. Perfect. Thank you very much. Of course. So on this envelope, you're gonna find a little bit of information. Obviously, you're gonna have your key inside the envelope. You're also gonna have your dorm assignment, your room assignment, and you're gonna have the combination to your mailbox. Additionally, if you order a package, you'll receive an email from Residential Life. You're gonna click into that email, scan your cat card as I just did, and you can pick up the package right here at the front desk. So I just wanna show you what mailboxes are like here. So if for some reason you still communicate by letter, you can pick up your letters right here. Every single mailbox is gonna be designed, assigned to one room. Make sure you check it periodically, make sure you have the code saved, and every single dorm is gonna have this sort of system of mailboxes. Additionally, what comes to the front desk is equipment rentals. Usually this is used for cleaning supplies like vacuum cleaners, mops, things of that nature. There are also games that you can rent out. So now we're gonna stop by Abby's office. She's our office manager, and she's gonna talk a little bit about what she does here at UVM. Hi everybody, I'm an office manager here at UVM. My name is Abby. I oversee the front desk functions and make sure everything runs smoothly. I handle the mail, packages, maintenance requests, room changes, key, key changes. I'm always in the building, my office is here, um, and I love visitors, so come see me and I'll help you with any questions that you might have about UVM or anything you need done in your room. Have a great day. Great, thanks for the info, Abby. So before I take you into an actual room, I wanna first introduce you to some key contacts that will be here for you while you're living in the residence hall. These are staff that work here, and some of them actually live in the residence halls with you. I'm gonna introduce you to our program director and program coordinator first, and here they are. Hi, my name is Lee. I'm the program director for Outdoor Experience. Outdoor Experience is one of the learning communities at UVM. A learning community is a residential experience where you'll live with other students who have shared interests. So for example, at Outdoor Experience, a lot of our students are interested in getting outside, in nature, hiking, getting out to the lake, skiing. And it's a way to start off the year with um, a possible group of friends who, have, who like to do some of the things that you like to do. And my name is Maddie. I'm the program coordinator here in Outdoor Experience. I work with Lee to put on programs and events um, right here in the res halls or outside the res halls. Some things that we did last year were trivia nights, bingo nights. Um, we also like to get off campus and do bikes and hikes. We're really excited to meet you and to find out what types of events and programs y'all are interested in doing and support you uh, here in the res hall and here in WW and Outdoor Experience. Thank you guys for explaining that. So now that we've met our learning community team, I wanna point out a few other staff members that work in the building. First off, our custodial staff, they're responsible for keeping our space safe and clean. Make sure you introduce yourself, say hi and get to know them. And right now, we're going to meet one of our area coordinators. Hi everyone, my name is Austin Jones and I'm an area coordinator here. I work alongside with our residence directors and our assistant residence directors to provide supervision for our resident advisors here. So during the night, you might have a power go out or a flood that happens. You will call the resident advisor on duty and they will call up to the professional staff to help assist you in those crises. 
We also oversee our Hall Council, which will provide more programs to the building and bring more fun and excitement. Also changing the building up to provide you the best comfort in your building. So come to our office, stop by, say hi. I promise you, we are happier people than most people. Thanks, Jonathan. No problem. So I've introduced you to all the staff that are going to live and or work here in the residence halls. And I'm going to open up an actual residence hall and show you what's included. So again, one cat card is going to get you into your specific residence hall. I'll scan it. It's going to open up. And just a quick note about the door. We never want to prop these just for security reasons. So when you open up the door, make sure you close it behind you. And moving down the hall, I'm going to show you a few amenities that are included. To my left, uh, we have the trash and recycling area. If you need a compost bin as well, that can be found near the front desk. Moving down the hall a little bit more, laundry rooms are included with every residence hall. This is what one looks like. Four to five washers and dryers. Laundry is definitely included. Use it as you may. And then moving down the hall just a little bit farther, the last amenity I want to point out is a pipe. It is very typical for you UVM students to have a bike, so if you plan on bringing one, just make sure your specific residence hall has a bike room. Also remember to bring your lock. And that's all the amenities that are included. I'm going to open up this door right here and actually show you a typical triple, and we'll see what it looks like. So, before we go into an actual room, I want to show you what you're going to find in a residence hall. So behind me is the common room. Not every dorm is going to have its own common room on every floor. This one does. Just make sure you check and see what building you're in and what it includes. So in a common room, you're going to find a number of things. Chairs, couches, desks, sometimes a whiteboard like this one. You're also going to have a small kitchenette. This one has a stove, a sink, a microwave. Sometimes they include fridges as well. Just make sure you check on which building you're in so you know which amenities are included. To my left right here, that's the RA's room. Sometimes they're not very accessible during normal class hours because they're students just like us and they have class. However, there's always an RA on duty, but outside of normal class hours, feel free to go stop in, knock on their door. If there's an issue, they're always a resource there for you. All dorm rooms, of course, they have bathrooms. Now, sometimes there are communal bathrooms, other times it's single occupancy bathrooms on the floors. Just make sure you check and know which one it is. And with that being said, let's go check out your actual room. Welcome to a typical dorm room. Here's what you can expect when you ride on campus. Number one, a closet. Either built into the wall, just like this, or it's gonna be its own standalone unit. Also, the beds can be wafted up or they can be left down, whatever you prefer. We have a dresser with five or six drawers and a mini dresser that's gonna fit under the desk. With the desk come, of course, chairs and a recycling bin will be in every room. Now, it's going to be set up in the way that maintenance please is the most ideal use for the space. You can move the furniture however you want. You can also bring furniture, typically a refrigerator and a microwave. However, we do ask that you do not remove any furniture from the building. Now, if I need an RA's assistance on any issue, I can either go down to the room at the end of the hall or, because it's the middle of the day, I can just call their RA on duty number. And I'll show you that right now. Give them a call. Hey, this is Elias in 209. Can I get an RA? Alright. Yeah. Hi there. I am Shelby. I'm an RA on campus. And I'm also a student and I live within the halls to support students. There is always an RA on duty to help students with roommate conflicts, other problems, and any questions you have regarding UVM here on campus. How can I help you, Elias? I was actually wondering if I could submit a maintenance request with you. Actually, that's not what I do. You can go on and submit a fix it for maintenance. Great, I have it pulled up right here. Looks like you're all set. I'll just head out. Thank you. So this is a fix it request. If there's anything wrong with your room at any time, you can go to the front desk or you can submit one of these forms. First, finish basic information. Some information about where you are, your room number, things like that. Of course, some COVID-19 guidelines and information about power. These are the big issues that you would not want to use this form for and instead go to the front desk for. I'm going to include my type of problem. As you can see, there are many. And all you do is hit submit. That was quick. 
We like to be quick around here. My name is Scott O'Brien. I'm with the Res Life South Zone Maintenance. If you do have a problem and you've submitted to fix it, we'll come over as quick as we can to try and help you out. If you have an issue such as your blinds are broken, the hinges don't work, your chair falls apart, we come over and handle that situation. If it's something bigger, such as your radiator is leaking, that goes down to the front desk to be handled through a different department. Thanks, Scott. And for any reason you want to switch rooms, you can fill out a room change request in the UVM housing portal, and Joanne can help you with that. We'll meet her now. Hi, I'm Joanne Moore, Interim Associate Director for, for Administrative Services here at Residential Life. Um, my team and myself are happy to um, have hosted room selection process for first time first years for the first time online where they were able to select their room and their roommate. We hope that this process has, has made better pairings and uh, better room choices for them when they come in the fall. We will confirm all these room assignments first week of August when all notifications will go out. Along with that, we will also um, provide room change information in case if students are looking to do some some swapping of rooms or swapping of roommates. Um, we hope these changes will be able to work during during the, the semester and when they first move in, but if not, um, they can continue to do that throughout the year. We also partner with Student Accessibility Services um, and we provide all the accommodations that come through their office as needed. Um, any questions about room selection, um, please feel free to call Res Residential Life and we can't wait to see you in the fall. We are very ha happy that you're coming and welcome to UVM. Thanks, Joanne. Now that we've covered everything, we're going to go downstairs to the lobby and close out the tour. And that just about covers everything you're going to need to know while you're staying here at UVM. We've gone over the dorm, we've gone over the lobby and the front desk. I've gone over some important amenities for you to have. And lastly, I'm gonna introduce you some important contacts that you're gonna to need to know while you're staying here. So if you have any questions about any of this or anything at all, please don't hesitate to contact ResLife, or your RA on duty, your RA, or anyone else on campus. And until then, I hope to see you on campus in the fall. Thanks for watching. Great job and thank you, Elias. I hope you all are excited to meet these folks and the entire staff here in Residence Life when you settle in to your community in this August. I now want to move on and share with you that at UVM, sustainability is a core part of our mission. From our waste management system to our work with our campus partners to provide transportation options for students, this value, this value affects all aspects of life here on campus. For more, I would like to introduce you to Corey and Caitlin to share more about these experiences. Take it away, folks. Hi, everybody. Welcome to UVM. My name is Elias. I'm a current senior here. And today I'm going to give you an overview on how to get started living here on campus. So let's come check it out. So first thing, you need to know how to get into your residence hall. And that's going to be done through your CAC card or your student ID. This is an ID that's used for checking out library books, your meal plan, getting out of buildings. Today we're going to use it to get into a residence hall. So my CAC card is designed to specifically get me into my own residence
Hi, good afternoon. My name is Corey Berman. I am a zero waste program manager here at the University of Vermont. Uh, I'm in the Office of Sustainability and making campus more sustainable is part of my job here at UVM. And uh, we're going to talk to you about some of the ways you can navigate campus sustainably while you're living here and start sustainable habits that you can use beyond your time here at the University. I'm Kaylin. I'm the Sustainable Projects Coordinator in the Office of Sustainability, but I'm going to let Corey take it away and tell you a little bit about zero waste. Thanks, Kaylin. Yeah. Um, so I want to take a few minutes to talk about some of the programs and initiatives that we have here at UVM that we hope to take advantage of and show you, show you how easy they are to interact with. First of all, I want to do a quick review of the five R's, which uh, used to be the three R's. It used to be reduce, reuse, recycle, but now we talk about refuse. You know, we try to refuse to create waste in the first place when possible. And we talk about ROT, which is essentially composting. So now we have the five R's, refuse, reduce, recycle, reuse, and ROT. Um, just a reminder that when you come to campus, your room will be equipped with a recycling bin, so you don't have to worry about that, but you will not have a trash bin provided for you, so you do have to bring your own trash bin. Um, there are trash and recycling sort rooms on every floor here to make it really easy to properly sort and recycle your materials, um, but there's only composting in the front and lobby of every building, so it's important to know that while you can discard your trash and recycling on every floor, just down a little bit from your room, you do have to carry your compost down to the lobbies. We're proud of our campus uh, compost system, which is in every residence hall across campus. Um, but again, you are going to have to do a little bit of extra effort, though it's pretty easy. Just go to each front desk and you'll be able to grab a free compost bag. Again, they're available in every front desk in all the residence halls. You bring that bag back to your room where you can fill it up with food scraps from uh, food that you prepare yourself or food that you bring back. Uh, really, any food scraps are acceptable. No packaging is acceptable, however. Again, we only want food scraps in our compost program here at UVM. No packaging of any kind, even if it says compostable on it. That's something really important to remember. Again, one more time, only food scraps in, in the compost. Um, and again, once that bag is full, bring it right down to your lobby. You'll see a, a green, one or two green compost containers right in front of the lobby. You can deposit those full bags right in that container. Another thing you'll find in the lobby of each building is a tech trash cabinet. This is something that you can use to discard batteries, light bulbs, small electronic devices. Sometimes we see laptops in there, uh, broken phones, um, Christmas lights, really anything that's got a cord uh, or anything that comes from a printer or a computer peripheral. You can use these techno trash cabinets that are in the front lobby of every building to discard those items. If you, ever, if you ever have any questions, uh, feel free to contact uvm.edu slash recycle. Uh, just a couple other notes in terms of waste prevention. There's many ways that you can help reduce waste while you're here at UVM. Certainly, you can carry your own refillable water bottle, which many people have now. Uh, you can use EcoWare, which you'll, you may not already know about or you learn about, which is a great reusable container system that you can use in our dining halls. And at all points possible, try to avoid buying single-use products when you can. Um, it gets cold here in Vermont, as you probably know, and nothing warms you better than some hot tea or coffee, so be sure and carry your refillable container wherever you go, which also guarantees a discount when you refill it. And lastly, purchase wisely. If you decide that you really need to buy an item, look for secondhand items or use when possible. Very often, uh, they're as good as new and cost much, much less. We have a guide on our website, which again is uvm.edu slash recycle, which is a zero waste and conscious consumption guide that was made by our wonderful eco reps last year. So please go to our website and click on that guide. There's a wonderful, there's wonderful resources there from, uh, from clothing to furniture, to books, to food, and a lot more. So again, that's zero waste and conscious consumption guide, which you'll find at our website. Uh, that is uvm.edu slash recycle. Again, uvm.edu slash recycle. And look forward to seeing you all here in the fall. Thanks. Thanks, Corey. That was a great rundown and definitely recommend uh, getting some stuff for your room once you get here. There's a bunch of good reuse stores where you don't have to lug it all up um, when you're arriving on campus. So I'm going to talk a little bit about transportation. You probably already know that first years don't bring cars to campus and that's really intentional because we've designed a campus and we live in a place where you don't really need your car. So I'm going to talk to you about a couple of alternatives. First, we have the bus, the Green Mountain Transit bus. That's the regional um, bus that you have free access to using your cat car and a, an on-campus shuttle that runs every 15 minutes and gets you everywhere you need to go. You also can really walk in um, across campus safely. Everything is really within a 15 minute walk, which is the amount of time in between your classes. 
Um, you can download the LiveSafe app, which will kind of act like a mobile blue light for you to be able to uh, call police services anytime you might need to if you ever feel like you are not safe and provides a lot of other resources. Biking is a great way to get around here. You can bring your own bike. There is bike storage in the residence halls, indoor and outdoor. Bike uh, pumps at each res hall front desk that you can rent out and fix it stations across campus. You can also rent a bike from UVM Bikes which rents them out for 25 bucks a semester, or um, use the bike share on campus or in the area, uh, which is the bird bike share you might have seen in other cities. Um, we also have a car sharing service called Car Share Vermont. So for folks 18 and up, you can sign up to drive those cars for, uh, for errands or longer distance trips. And for getting to and from campus, uh, to and from home to campus, you can use some of the long distance transit options like the Megabus, Greyhound, and Amtrak that service a lot of New England and beyond. Um, and if you are looking to carpool to a specific spot, we have a new carpool rideshare board you can join on Microsoft Teams to coordinate with people who, are, who live nearby you that you want to get a ride with. So just want to reiterate that um, being in your car is uh, actually not the most fun or easy way to get around on campus. We have a lot of other accessible options. Um, and if this stuff that we've talked about today is interesting to you and you're passionate about it, we encourage you to learn more at our website, uvm.edu slash sustainability office. And um, we're also hiring students who are gonna do this type of outreach on campus. So if you're looking for an on-campus job, work study or non-work study, you can learn more about our EcoReps program with our students who do this work. Um, at uvm.edu slash ecorefs. So thanks, and we're excited to see you on campus. Thanks so much, Corey and Caitlin, for your impactful and useful words. We hope that this session has been meaningful and you've gotten a lot of sense, a lot of sense of what to expect from your space when you arrive to campus in August. Again, the experience is what you make it at UVM. Just like your room will become your own as you add your belongings, our campus community will be enriched by your enthusiasm and your energy to bring to UVM. We look forward to seeing you during our future sessions. Our goal with all, with, with all summer programs is to provide a snapshot of what to expect in order to help you to navigate and have a successful transition to the university. With that, I would love to move forward into our Q&A session with your questions that I can answer on behalf of the department. So let me share that the University of Vermont, um, um, as part of our housing inventory, are triples. And so we wanted to last year really tell the story of campus housing. We know that 40% of students who come to UVM will be in a triple room. And so we intentionally last year began to um, revamp, reimagine our a minute student visit day information by really underscoring what does it mean to live in a triple room? So really revamping that and then also adding on more showrooms to really showcase the experience of what it means to live in a triple um, room. We know too that through research, um, uh, um, living in a triple room, there are benefits such as um, effective study habits from each other in the room, um, be able to walk downtown to and from safe and sound, 
also to lifelong friendships that are part of that experience. So we value um, triples as a huge part of the campus experience. And we encourage our students who are in those rooms to find connections to really work together, but also connect with your RA. They are a huge part to your success here at UVM. So another question that I'm seeing on the on the screen here. So we are actually in storing the, the question what was around um, GMAT um, bike um, um, bike storage. We are actually installing new bike storages in GMANS that that will be installed um, in August when you get here. So you'll see that in the halls as part of our commitment to provide bike rails in those communities. So for room selection, the question is when do I uh, make my room selection? Um, for first year students, this is the over the past eight weeks. Um, we have been allowing our first year students to select their rooms. We're doing it by um, um, LC. I believe this week we are going through sustainability. So if you're in that LC, you'll be able to, um, on the day and time, go into the housing inventory to pick your room or select your room, move, move your roommate for that week. So it's based on the actual LC when you are assigned. One question was how many of the rooms are triples versus singles? Uh, we expect, again, 40% of incoming students will be in a triple this year. Um, um, and that's part of our historical data here in campus housing. Um, one question is, can I find a room dimensions anywhere? Um, also, can we rent fridge and microwaves from UVM? Um, on the UVM books, on it, on the UVM website, um, there's a page where you can look for average sizes in terms of microfishes um, is where you can also find fridge, fridge, fridges as well. So if you head to our site, that information is on our website. One question is how, um, how do we know um, what our move-in dates is? The, the website will have all uh, the website will have all the information in the coming weeks. If you check back to our website, you will um, be able to see that. But also too, on August 3rd, we will send out to the entire campus community for our rising sophomores and, and freshman students the date and time when you will be able to move into your residence hall um, to UVM. Um, one question is, will students get physical CAT cards when arriving to campus. We no longer issue physical CAT cards. If a student um, does not have a smart a smartphone, the office um, may work to provide a physical, a physical alternative. One question is, what is the best way to, spit, to send a package to, um, to, to students? Your student will get a mail, mail address for, for whatever hall they reside in on campus. Um, you can send it to that address, that address and the front desk will be able to deliver that to the student. Um, one question is, um, when do students get their CAT cards? Um, they should be able, they, they should have instructions to download it on their smartphones. You can also um, pick one up at the CAT card office when you arrive at campus. 
Another question is if your if your rest hole doesn't have a bike storage um, in there, um, can you keep it there? Yes, uh, there are more bike storages on the central campus and you can keep them in other residence halls as well. Um, another, another question that came through the chat is, can I um, use a tea, tea set in the residence halls? Yes, you, um, if, if it has an automated shut off, um, you can use it. Um, one question that came through the chat is, can, is can I like can I like in a triple with no bunk beds? Um, let us find more information about that question and we'll and we'll get back to you on that one. Another question is um, that I'm seeing in the chat. What should you do if you didn't get your first choice in the learning communities and you can join in in the in an in another LCO campus? You're actually more than welcome to join any on campus activities in the learning communities. In fact, we encourage uh, we encourage it. Um, we, we recommend following the Instagram account. Um, for the LCs and you will find interesting ways to stay engaged and involved in our LCs here at UVM. Just going through going through the questions. Um, one question is if you don't have a sink in your rest hall room, um, Macaulay, how would it be best to use it because um, you have to buy a disposable one or can make suggestions and make suggestions in washing dishes? So. I would suggest that we do not have any rooms on campus uh, with sinks, but 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 bathrooms um, are available on each floor, and share and share kitchen sinks as well uh, for usage. Um, one question that came through the chat is, how do you know what the gender is for each room? If a room is available to you and you have um, not opted into a gender inclusive housing, you can you, you can expect to have that gender of the room uh, will be the same as your as your as your as your identity. Um, another question that came through the chat is when students move in, will there be staff to help? unload uh, the car quick. Yes, uh, we will have volunteers who, who will have carts for our first year students on Wednesday and Thursday to help you unload your stuff. Um, there'll be carts and they'll help you to move things into the residence halls um, where you are assigned. Is AC um, and heat supplied in each of the halls? Um, only buildings that have AC are Sensu and U Heights halls um, have air conditioning. The other halls do not have AC. A question came through the chat. Am I able to choose a roommate still or is it random? You can definitely choose a roommate. 
uh, when you fill out the housing contract, you can either request someone else, and as far and as long as they request you, you're good to go. Um, another question that came through the chat has has the recent flooding uh, recent flooding affected um, the campus at all? Uh, no, not too much. We, we we had no damages to our to our halls on campus, and we're looking forward to opening all the halls in August. Another question that came through the chat is, um, where do I see the where do I see that the layout of a single room? Um, so uh, we are able to provide floor plans, uh, floor plans for our spaces, unfortunately. Um, one question that came through the chat is, do I need a computer that uses an internet cable in order to use the computer in my room? Um, you will have Wi-Fi um, in your rooms on campus. Uh, we can also provide internet hookups for smart TVs, gaming, et cetera, if you need it. Just continuing to go to, through the questions. Many of the questions, um, they repeat folks, so I'm just skipping over yeah. questions that I've already shared out. So one question that came through the chat box is um, how soon can students request a res hall change? After the ad drop, um, usually two weeks following classes, we will begin to um, initiate our room change process. Um, one question is, does the res halls have washing machines and are they coin? Um, yes, um, both washers and dryers are available and they are free. They are free to you all because you that's part of your housing um, housing course. So I want to say thank you um, for um, for um, being a part of our virtual setting. We were we, 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 we were excited to have you here and we're looking forward to having you on campus in August. That all that, that, that's all the time that we have um, during this session. Um, if you have questions that we did not get a chance to answer, please feel free to reach out to our, our office by phone or email and we will be happy to answer your questions. For myself and everyone in campus housing at UVM, I want to welcome you to our community as a brand new catamount and as we say at UVM, go cats. We'll see you in August. <laughs>